This might be the last lap. Oh, and Kellogg goes into the tubing. Post is on his way to win the 2021 series. But wait. You're watching RRL RC, home of backyard RC car racing. A historic race season builds to a thrilling conclusion, and our extreme speedway nestled in the woods of northern New Jersey is the perfect setting to crown a backyard champion. And today's 3D RC qualifying results feature Post edging Cohen by two tenths for pole position. Backyard buggy racing starts right now in Post Pole's Hole Shot. How y'all doing? It's been nose to tail all season in buggy. If you want to win one race a year, you want to win it here at NR Extreme Speedway. That's for sure. Cam Cohen and Jebby Jones Jr. here with you for the inaugural Backyard Buggy Series Finale. And we're down to two racers in one race to decide the championship as Nelson is on his lid down the back straight. Cullen knows where every rock is located here on this racetrack. But Post had that buggy dialed in last round. Let's see how this shakes out. Cohen got a little bit crossed up exiting that last turn. We'll keep our eyes on that section for sure. Meanwhile, Post is coming up on lap traffic. It's a big tangle with Kosh and Nelson. Nelson has had podium finishes in three of his last four. Oh, and Kosh goes flying off. Oh, Nelson, get to the stands. Oh, to humanity, someone get the fire marshal. And another tangle with three and four. Kosh gets the worst end of these few moments, but thankfully the marshals were on the spot. And calling into the wall around a double apex. Man, I'll tell you what, they was rocking and rolling already here. The racer with the fewest mistakes will win. Wow, that's quite the logical statement you have there, Jebby. A friendly reminder to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to keep up with all of RRLRC's Backyard RC Car Racing right here on youtube.com forward slash RRLRC. Do it now. This two-wheel drive buggy series has really delivered, and Jebby, it's a pleasure having you back full-time as our analyst calling these backyard RC races. Well, f Cam, this is not the way it was supposed to go down. Oh, yeah. Don't you own that private used golf cart dealership now? Well, until I got tangled up with some better business bureau bullshit, misplaced VIN numbers, customer gouging, allegations of prostitution, semi automatic weapons found with trace levels of cocaine dust, those are minor details that do not mean to be discussed further here. You bring around Law's ditch, it didn't help much neither, but I'm much happier here calling races. As we see Kosh falling off the pace of third, I had no idea you had that rocky of a relationship with your nephew Lars. Let's just say I have a family portrait with Lars drawn by a courtroom artist. Kellen has fallen back a few turns now as Post is in the middle of lap traffic again. They're all bunched up. Everyone wants to go. Just like my second cousin Jenny Lynn. Everybody wants to go and for free. Post driving through lap traffic with authority. Wow. Nelson just crossed up with Post on the corner and exit. Kosh too. The hang-up will help Cohen in second place. That lap interval might read five seconds, but now Post's lead is much slimmer as the gang meanders around the technical section. Post's aggressive driving is paying off now. He rifles his buggy to the front. Nothing but open dirt ahead. We approach the halfway point in this first ever RRL RC Backyard Buggy Series, and if you're just joining us, it's a winner-take-all affair for the blue and orange buggies to take the championship. Post was the fastest qualifier, and he was really showing off the right stuff. Here's Cohen still trying to reel in our race leader, and it looks like he might be closing the gap about two and a half seconds behind the Speed King until that bobble entering the tabletop. Also, keep your eye on the pink wing buggy of Kosh. He has clawed his way back to only a turn or two behind third. He'll have to keep it clean from here on out to catch up. Post been aggressive and confident all race long. Kind of like a drunk hooker, running on half experience and half technique. All right, well, Post finds all the right spots to be at at the right time. Look no further than his success at NR Extreme Speedway this series. Two races, two wins. And he's looking for the series sweep this afternoon, but that won't help him. Post went two inside around the back hairpin and caught the tubing. If you're Post right now, don't look in the rear view mirror. Cohen in the orange buggy now back within a turn or two of his backyard racing rival Post. Watch Cohen. He's really found a lot of speed. Maybe his tires are built for the second half of the race. He knows he has a few different spots where he could capitalize, so keep an eye on Cullen. Oh, and Post barely avoids disaster with Kosh, who got squirrely. Less than two minutes to go. Post is out in front, but he has yet to check out. Cullen's letting it all hang out. He's breaking out all the tricks in the book he can to chase down a leader. 
Nice job by Cullen to maintain his speed around the last turn. Two and a half seconds separate one and two, but a bobble by Cullen in the middle gives Post some precious seconds back. Jebby, can the Postman deliver and get the job done? Post has a pre-existing condition for living for these kinds of moments. He is bad fast, absolutely untouchable today. You gotta think though, Post knows a push from Cullen is coming. You would definitely think so. Post has lap traffic in his sights once more. This last minute is brought to you by 3D RC Racing. Your RC car parts reimagined. Click the link in the description to learn more. And Nelson and Post make contact. Cullen is right on the back bumper of Post. Now Post bullies his way by Kosh. Cullen follows right behind. Running the fast lap moments ago, Post hit lap traffic, leaving the door open for Cullen, but Post is staying strong under the detectical section. A lot of work, a lot of time behind the scenes trying to make these buggies as fast as possible, and it comes down to these final few corners. Cohen is running out of time if he wants to take this championship away from Post. Something's gone wrong with that blue buggy of Post. He sure is losing steam. With maybe one more lap left, this is really where Cohen wants to make that move. The inside's open. Oh, oh our leaders are Marshall. tangled up. They're tangled up like rattlesnakes. They gain separation. This might be the last lap. Oh, and Cohen goes into the tubing. Post son is on his way to win the 2021 series. But wait. He stole. He stole the car. He stole us. Just in the nick of time, Post crosses the finish line with your big win. And the points championship also goes to Post. I'm speechless, y'all. This was an unbelievable finish. Wow. And just like that, the trophy ceremony features Matt Nelson, third place in points, Cam Cohen, second place finisher and also top qualifier, and how about the man of the hour, accidentally given the TQ trophy, first place finisher, Brent Post. It's either win or die, and want to pull out the win, battery went up dying on me at the very end, thank god it kicked back on at the start finish slide, I was able to finish the lap, but definitely a nail biter, wasn't really pushing it that hard, I was just focusing on lap after lap after lap after lap, I could have went faster, but faster could have been slower essentially, so. Got to set it straight, start off with the win. A lot of competition, very close, you know, coming down to the very end. Here's a look at our final points here in Buggy. Boy, what an inaugural season. Like most things in dirt, there's no great explanation for what I just saw. But I'll tell you what, I can't wait for next year. Absolutely. For Jebby Jones Jr., I'm Cam Cohen. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time at RRLRC Backyard Racing. Yeehaw!